Good morning, everybody. It's your friend and brother Derek Day coming to you with another exciting installation of Everyday Encouragement. Today is Thankful Thursday. It is also day three of the Gospel Challenge, the gauntlet that was laid down by our brother Jeremiah Johnson, the pastor of Grace Point Church in Georgetown, Kentucky. And if you're anywhere in the Lexington or Georgetown area and you're looking for a place to hang out on Sunday, you need to connect with Grace Point because it is a phenomenal body of believers. Uh, shameless plug for Grace Point. Uh, I've been there, I visited, preached there, and I'm telling you, they made me feel right at home. Today, again, is Thankful Thursday, and I am thankful that God is not testing us. I'm grateful that he has no need to test us. And this lines up with a question, and I meant to actually answer this question yesterday, but here we go, from our friend and sister Cynthia here in the Phoenix area. And Cynthia has a friend who recently lost her son, and someone said to her, well, God doesn't give us any more than we can handle. And I'm going to tell you that in all of the lexicon of uh, churchanese or or uh, churchy scripture or not scriptures but sayings or cliches that is one of the most hurtful that god will not give us more than we can handle in other words that god will inflict enough pressure or pain on us up to the point of our capacity you got to catch this because, see, here's the thing. If God is the one putting you into the test, then you cannot count on him to deliver you from it. Because think about it. If, if he's putting you in it, then that means it's up to you to get out. You have to pass the test. But watch this. When God sent Jesus into the earth and Jesus died and when he gave up his ghost, he gave us his spirit. His spirit came to dwell in us. And there are a couple of reasons for this. I mean, that one is that, is that God placed his divinity inside us, that God placed his power inside us, that God placed his love, his faith, his hope in us. That's powerful, but wait, as they say in the infomercials, there's more. Because God trusts no one more than himself. And because he trusts no one more than himself, if he puts himself in you, then that means he's putting himself in a position to trust you. And when you trust someone, you don't have to test them. Are you with me? You only have to test who you don't trust. And furthermore, you don't have to trust someone that you know. And God knows you better than you know you. God operates at the speed of thought. So if God already knows you, then he, he gets no benefit out of testing you. <laughs> I hope you catch this. This is really powerful stuff because God has no need to put you through anything. If God puts you through anything, that makes him a sadist. That's not God. That is not our God. God is a loving daddy and he equips us for the test gives us the tools that we need to pass the test and gives us the power to overcome the circumstances and the situations of the test. Y'all, please hear me. Whenever someone says, well, God won't give us any more than we can handle, man, the hair on my neck stands up. I, I, you know, the, I, my righteous indignation swells up inside me and I'm just like, holy smokes, are you kidding God testing us? If God is testing you, he's giving you something that you can't pass. But guess what? My Bible says that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. Now, you could put that in your pipe and smoke it. In other words, I'm, I'm grateful that I have a God, I have a father, I have a daddy who loves me and equips me 
And, and, and when, when I fall during the test, he's there to pick me up and clean me up and dust me off and stand me back up and say, son, you've got what it takes to pass this. That's what God really does. And I pray that that blesses you. Listen, if you want to connect with me or if you have a question that you would like to see answered through the lens of God's unconditional love and unlimited grace, please inbox me. You can reach me at www.derekday.com or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Derek Day Ministries. Or if you are on Instagram or on Twitter, my handle is Derek E. Day. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-E-D-A-Y. And if you um, want to check out my videos on YouTube, and I did a fantastic one last night uh, about the gospel according to Snoop Dogg, and I promise you, you don't want to miss that. I don't care what genre of music you're into, you need to see that. Also, uh, we have podcasts that are on both iTunes and Google Play, so that means you can listen to this stuff anytime. And I'm, uh, when I tell you, literally, there's hundreds of podcasts, hundreds of videos that you can connect with. And, and I'm going to tell you, I don't have all the answers, but what I will say is this, is that everything that I say will be through the lens of God's unconditional love and unlimited grace, and that is the gospel, and that is will bless you. That's what I have for you today. It's Everyday Encouragement. Thankful Thursday. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that God isn't testing me, and I'm grateful that he's equipped me to pass every test, and God loves you, and so do I. Stay blessed and have a thoroughly tremendous Thursday. Love y'all.